our members of parliament conspired and voted against the wishes of over 95% of Kenyans. They voted for an increased cost of living. That is demonic. That is a crisis. Actually, it is worse than Corona. It is worse than earthquakes, which happens in some of our, those developed nations. And it's actually worse than floods, which do happen. Because we have put the life rights, the livelihood of ordinary Kenyans on a death bed. As as Mio party, we've gone loud. And we've been told clearly by Mwananji that we have to do something going forward because they are gasping for air. They are gasping for food. They are in ICU. And I want to thank our, uh, our reader, Laila Odinga, because of calling the government out and calling for a national assembly and a real national assembly not a parliament an assembly of the people of Kenya at Kamukoji on children so that they can take an independent vote and they can take a position and they can guide us as leaders on the way forward because 180 Kenyans went against the wishes of close to 50 million people. I want to call upon our people, because they are living all over our diverse settlement areas in Nairobi, in Dadola, in Shawimoyo, in Nikikomba, in Nikidulai. They are doing business at the city center. I want to call upon them to sacrifice their Tuesday so that we can engage each other at Kamukoji and so that we can define the cause of action going forward. Because when you are laid down by readers, you are not supposed to go into a glyph and bury yourself. You are supposed to raise your voice. And Kenyans must raise their voice on Tuesday.